Located along the Atlantic Ocean, Hilton Head Island in South Carolina is one of America's most popular islands, and the food is part of the reason why. Being Oceanside, Hilton Head Island is understandably known for its seafood, but this island has much more to offer in terms of food. With so many options for great food, here are some of our favorites, which are also kid-friendly to help you know where to go. Welcome to the Savvy Sightseer, the channel that helps you travel savvy. Starting off, let's talk about breakfast. Probably the most popular breakfast place on the whole island is Java Burrito. Tucked back in the corner of an unassuming strip mall, Java Burrito follows the same concept as Chipotle, with the added benefit of a coffee bar. You may be wondering how these two things go together, but here at Java Burrito, they have learned to combine them perfectly. During the morning, you can go through and build your own breakfast burrito or choose from a variety of other items, such as French toast and breakfast sandwiches. You then go down the line choosing what you want in your burrito. At the end, there is a coffee bar which serves delicious drinks. Later in the day, they also serve alcoholic drinks such as margaritas. This place can become packed. It's always busy and expect a line if you come in the morning. It moves quick and there's a ton of seating outside to enjoy your meal if the inside is full. This place is definitely a must when coming to Hilton Head and was probably our favorite breakfast stop on the island. Another great choice for breakfast is Carolina Coffee and Crumbs, which is located in Caligny Plaza. This is another quick service restaurant that is popular on the island. They have a variety of pastries and bagels, along with bigger breakfasts such as avocado toast and breakfast burritos. We opted for a smaller breakfast of pastries and coffee for the adults and fruit smoothies for the kids. All of which made a great quick breakfast to start our day and we were able to enjoy them in their cute little courtyard area. I absolutely love being able to take my research and share with you all the great tips that I've learned while traveling. If you're finding this video helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button and comment sharing what you have found helpful or enjoyed. Your support means everything to me and allows me to continue on sharing all these wonderful savvy tips with you. If you're willing to explore outside the island, a little less than an hour away from Hilton Head in the picturesque town of Beaufort, South Carolina, is a super cute and delicious breakfast place called Low Country Produce. There is also a location on Hilton Head in the shops at Sea Pines, which is why I'm sharing about this place. We chose to eat at the one in Beaufort because it was on our way to Charleston, and honestly, it just looked cuter than the other locations. No matter which location you choose, you are sure to get some great Southern food. Serving both breakfast and brunch items, there is so much to choose from on their menu. This place was perfect for the kids and they loved their pancakes and French toast. Both my husband and I opted for the very popular low country breakfast that gives you eggs served the way you want, bacon or sausage, a biscuit or bread, and then the choice of potatoes, fruit, or grits. I chose to go as Southern as possible and got the biscuit and grits. While trying out the local cuisine, I did discover I am definitely not a fan of grits. But the shining star of the biscuit was the jam that went on top. They sell this jam along with all sorts of other products and we bought some to take home. It was amazing and I wish we would have bought more. Also located in Beaufort across the street from Low Country Produce was a cute coffee shop called City Java and News. This was some of my favorite coffee our entire trip in South Carolina. There are a lot of different options and the staff was extremely friendly and welcoming. So if you find yourself in Beaufort, make sure to stop here to grab a quick pick-me-up. Moving on to good lunch and dinner spots on the island, first up is the Sandbar Beach Eats. This is located in Caligny Plaza right on Pope Avenue. We had driven past this restaurant one evening and it was packed, so I looked it up and lo and behold it had great reviews on Yelp. So we decided to check it out for lunch and it did not disappoint. Probably the star of the show at this restaurant is the variety of tropical drinks they serve. There's an outdoor and indoor bar, and it's definitely the focal point of the restaurant. The food was good, pub style food, such as burgers. And if you're looking for a great laid back casual restaurant, especially if you have kids, this would be a great choice. A newer restaurant in Hilton Head that was always packed was The Bank. This is a unique concept in which it is a combination of a food court and food trucks combined. 
There are a variety of different food options indoors and other food and drink options outside. We came to eat here, but that particular day, it was simply too hot. Seating is self-serve and the indoor area was packed. We tried to sit outside, but ultimately decided against it because the humidity instantly got to us. There's a ton of seating both inside and outside and food options for everyone. The food seemed pretty basic and nothing fancy, but saw families with young children enjoying the lawn area. It would be worth trying if you're looking to hang out, eat and drink at a leisurely pace. One of the more iconic restaurants in Hilton Head is the Old Oyster Factory. Its location on Broad Creek gives diners unparalleled dining views and has allowed it to be voted one of America's top 100 scenic view restaurants by Open Table. It has also won a spot on the top 50 kid-friendly restaurants in America, also by Open Table. Open in 1989, located right above the stunning marshes of Hilton Head, with oyster shells below, not surprisingly, this restaurant focuses on seafood. As someone who's not a fan of seafood, I found my options somewhat limited, but the food we had was still very good. When checking out the menu, their lunch menu did seem to have many more options for people that maybe don't like seafood like myself. Although the food wasn't the best I have ever had, what puts this place above most restaurants on the island, or anywhere really, were the views. It really was breathtaking to watch as the sun went down. The kids also loved exploring below where they found oyster shells galore. Now, if you had to name the most popular and iconic restaurants on Hilton Head, it would probably be a toss up between the Salty Dog and Skull Creek Boathouse. Looking at both, they seemed pretty comparable in terms of type of food, but based on reviews and recommendations from friends, we opted for the Skull Creek Boathouse, and we were so glad we did. This place is a local hotspot for a reason. It was our favorite restaurant our whole trip simply because of the atmosphere. Located on the water, this restaurant's ambience cannot be matched. Between the live music, the palm trees surrounding the outdoor dining deck, and the boats in the background, it really gave the best vacation vibes we found our entire trip. The menu itself is huge with all sorts of low country cuisine options. They have a variety of drinks and according to the waitress we had, the Rum Runner was the most popular. It definitely was the best one we had out of the ones we tried and if you like sweet, fun, tropical drinks, it's definitely the one to get. Low country cuisine is usually equated with seafood and nothing more low country than a low country boil. My husband opted for this because, well, you know, when in Rome. He loved it and couldn't believe how many shrimp were in it. I had the fish and chips and they were extremely fresh and I was able to share with my son and husband and still had some left. They have a great kids menu, the portion sizes were huge, and it was all very tasty. This place is ideal if you have kids, but here's a tip if your kids can't wait. You need to come early. We opted for an early dinner since we didn't have lunch and came a little after 4 o'clock. There were plenty of open tables and we were seated right away. When we left around 5.30, all the tables were packed and I heard someone waiting outside said that the wait was around 2 hours. It's popular and for a reason. Another area to eat at while in Hilton Head is just about a 20 to 30 minute drive from the island and that is Bluffton. Bluffton was the cutest town and one that is worth stopping in just to check out. There are many good dining choices here, but one we tried was Burnt Church Distillery. They specialize in bourbon and whiskey, but also have other liquors they make too. The restaurant itself is laid back, but upscale looking. Beyond the liquor, they also cook up delicious wood-fired pizza and make for the perfect lunch spot on our way to Hilton Head from Savannah. The drinks were unique and tasty, the food was great, and we are kicking ourselves for not buying some bourbon or whiskey to take home with us. It's a great stop if you want to try some low country spirits, and kids are welcome. Moving on to probably my favorite dining option in Hilton Head is the ice cream. The ice cream on this island was to die for. One popular ice cream shop is the Ice Cream Cone, located in Caligny Plaza. During a summer night, expect really long lines. They have a ton of flavors and it was really good. But we had this the night after having Hilton Head ice cream, which right now ranks as the best ice cream I have ever had in my entire life. I come from Portland, Oregon, home of Salt and Straw. I've had good ice cream. I know what good ice cream is, but this was better. It's also a very popular spot with limited seating that will most likely be fully occupied in the summer. 
I had the cheesecake brownie ice cream and it tasted just like a thick cold cheesecake with giant pieces of brownie in it. It was truly life changing and no other ice cream has come close since trying this. Hilton Head has so many more dining options to offer guests than the ones I suggested, but hopefully this will give you a great head start on where to eat to make sure you're having the best of the best while there. Thank you for joining me and letting me share with you all about where to eat while on Hilton Head Island. Make sure to hit subscribe so you can see more of my videos to help inspire your next travel destination and to help you travel savvy.